This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Principles course. I'm on Unit 3, Intro to Programming, Lesson 9, Looping and Random Numbers, Part 14. Add sunbeams. Finally, we'll add some visual flour flourish by writing draw all sunbeams. Note, the turn to command makes the turtle face a random direction prior to drawing each sunbeam. Do this. Read the draw sunbeam function to know how it works and the parameters it accepts. Okay, that we can do. So, now remember, functions, the code inside of here does not run on its own. You must call a function. This is what asks the computer to run them. So, we draw all sunbeams after we draw all bubbles. The computer is going to search for draw all sunbeams. Ooh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? And finds this. It then drops in and runs the code inside. So, we're going to move to Draw some boobs, turn to. Okay, so we're going to move to a random position. We're going to turn to a random position between negative 50 and 320, zero y, right? So zero y is the top. And then we're going to turn it to a random position, and which is, I guess, why the light's different angles. And then we run the draw random number. I mean, we run the draw sunbeam function. Our parameter is a random number between 100 and 400, which is going to be, where's 100? Oh, well, it depends what we use that for. So, uh, yeah, that's our parameter, or well, our argument for our parameter. So now we're going to run draw sunbeam. The computer needs to hunt for that. Draw sunbeam. And we'll say the random number it chose was uh, 117. So now draw sunbeam size is that random number that we had in the function call. So 117, we'll pretend. Drops in, pin down, pin width, some random number between 1 and 15. The pin color is going to be white with almost complete, uh, completely transparent. We're going to move forward. So the, this is going to be the size. So size is going to be the length. And the length, again, is that random number when we call the function and draw all sunbeam. Here. Once we draw a sunbeam, we hit the bottom of this, and then we're done with that function, and the code keeps running, and we'll now, well, it's now done. Let's see. Yep, so we have one sunbeam. All right. Add a loop to the sunbeam to draw 100 sunbeams. Inside your loop, place... Place the commands already inside the function in your loop. This way, your code will move the turtle to a random x location at the top of the image. Y is 0. Turn to a random angle between 165 and 175 and call draw sunbeam. So we need 100 times. So let's go to control and grab this. I need to put this code inside of it. Boop. Now remember, a for loop is going to run as many times well, this for loops. If I put a 1 here, it's going to run one time. And that's because 0 is where i starts. i++ plus plus means i plus 1. So this code says, okay, iterate, i starts at 0. So it drops down and runs this. Random number, we move to, we turn to random, we then draw one sunbeam. We hit the bottom of our for loop, it goes back to the top. 0, i++ plus plus means add 1 plus 1 is 1. 1 is not less than 1. It's done with our for loop, hits the bottom of our function, and keeps going. So if I write 2, it's 2 sunbeams because it draws the first one at 0, right? i equals 0, goes all the way through, hits the bottom. i plus plus means i plus 1. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then says 1 is less than 2, drops in, runs the code again, hits the bottom, goes back to the top. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 is not less than 2, and it is done with 2 sunbeams. Whatever the number here is how many times it's going to work. But da uh, And we have 100. This is looking really great. Let's keep going.